so we've been paying a small fortune in fees in caravan parks for for a little while now. The caravan parks have got their place and uh, we enjoy them, but uh, we found this little spot here in Margaret River. Um, it's a low cost campground. No power, no water, but nestled amongst the olive grove. They've done a really good job of laying out various campsites. Cost us, uh, I don't know, $29 a night, I think it was. They charge $3 for kids. Not sure why. We're not using power, we're not using water, we're not using facilities. All the same, it's not too exorbitant. And uh, here we are, set up with our own little secluded level, hard ground campsite in the middle of an olive grove. And we're about five minutes from Margaret River. I'm gonna go and check out Margaret River today and all that has to offer. Ice creameries, uh, breweries, wineries, and activities for the kids. And some caves, mate. So, see how it goes. There's hundreds and hundreds of wineries in Margaret River. But if you looking for those ones that stand out, this could be one of them because they've got like a surf gallery and a classic cars gallery. The Arafina Estate. And we'll try the wine. See how it goes. Cool, the cars and the surfboards and stuff. Show me your favourite car in this museum. Oh, what makes this your favourite? I like the Iron Racing Stripes. Yeah. And it's in one. So. <gasps> How fast it go? Two <gasps> That's pretty cool. Show me your favourite car. Oh, the Ferrari. Oh, it goes really fast. It's really fast, doesn't it? Uh, show me your favourite car. Did you see me driving this one? Uh, yeah. Driving, put down. Oh. Does that have a favourite? And it turns out the wines are right. An illusion center that we're gonna go. Illusions are very cool. This is very trippy. There's water flying up here. What's the question, Jaden? How does the water go uphill instead of downhill? What if I blow it? Blow the ball. Where is it? I don't want to just go.
think it's actually got something heavier on this side. No. <laughs> You're having a leak with the superstars. Here to learn about now. Beans, beans, and fuzzy beans. Honey, honey, honey. Oh, two pots. Look at that. I could have tea out of this every morning. I know it's. What have we got here? Honey. Taste sensation. What flavour is it? Is that from is that Mary? Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Is that? What makes a good ice cream? Ice. Lots of flavours. <laughs> this is madness. Check out the cube for an ice cream. I'll be 
Jen, my favorite. What do you think? Yummy. I got mint and bubble gum. This is too small. I'm gonna pop a whole bunch of daisies. I want to put a sunflower. So in Margaret River, there's a couple of ice cream we used to pick from. Now we didn't go to Miller's, we were going, but uh, it just happened that Simo's was sort of on the route that we're taking. But check out this. The ice cream's good. The play area is good. Good spot for kids and great ice cream. Well, so we've had uh, so much to eat and drink today, it's getting out of control. We thought we'd go walk a bit of it off, the Buston Jetty. So check out this playground. Pretty awesome. And Jetty's over here. It's got some little huts on. It's got a train that runs out. It's the uh, longest jetty in the southern hemisphere. It's uh, two kilometres long. The sounds of it, it's probably the most expensive to uh, walk on as well. Anyway, there you go. It's a bustle from Jetty. So we're going to head on down now guys, two more flights of stairs to get into the cave. We just went to Lake Cave and it was really cool. What did you guys think about it? Um, it was really cool. Um, it was cool how you got to see the table above the ground yeah. with nothing supporting it underneath. Yeah. What I did like you think? the stalling tight because they're tight to the ceiling. Yeah. And stalagmites? Oh, uh, yeah, at the model. They might hit the ceiling when yeah. they grow. That's a good way to remember it. Stalactites. They hang tight and then the stalactites might they might hit the sit. How high are you going to go? You're going to have a climb? I don't know what I'm going to do. Mm. I think it's just going to go back. Mm. No. Just don't go very high. Mm. Might go all the way up if they put like a zip line or a giant slide going. Very, very tall. Very tall. You know how tall? Very tall. 63 meters above the ground. What is it? 53 meters. Right. Why is it here? I don't know. To climb. Oh, find out. Because it's the tallest. Yeah, it's part of it. Yeah, I'm going to have a look, see how high I get. But for all those who said I couldn't do it, Matt, for instance, here I'm at the top of the Gloucester tree. 
Who's someone on I? <laughs> oh, thanks. So I just found this some wiki caves. It's a like a parking bay area on our way to Albany. And uh, the parking bay's nice, it's got a, a little bit close to the road. It's got a table and chairs and stuff there, but I thought I'm gonna go exploring and have a look down this little track, right? And I found this track. Downside was can't turn around at the end, so I've reversed the caravan about 100 metres down this track. Couple of little pinstripes. And we will check out this campsite. Have a look at it. I'm rating it as number one. There's a camp. This is really cool. Cracker! Yeah. It is a cracker. We're yeah. going to get a campfire going. Yeah, definitely. Mmm. But yeah. Well, I mean, a little bit of a challenge to get into. No, it wasn't too bad. You got the in really well. We have got this cracker going. Oh. And I cut the wood with the chainsaw. Yes, you did a little, little bit of cutting. But this wood has been soaked. And it is soaked to the core. It's not green, but it's just wet. Using heaps and heaps of kindling, small cuts of wood, and putting lots and lots of it on. Once it gets going though, it dries itself out, and off you go. You can have a hot fire with wet wood. Bang.